Hello again, I'm Carl Fuller, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the fairing of the Polowina hull and the glassing of it. So first of all, I've gone over and planed all the joins, because um, they're the high points. Now I'm going over the whole hull, and as you can see by these lines marking the high points and using this rule as a fairing baton in this case and after you've removed most of the high points it's then time for the torture board with some pretty um, coarse sandpaper this is 60 um, it could be even coarser for this stage of the job but it sure rips into it and it also shows the high points if some more planing is needed or if you're having a patch of difficult grain sometimes it's um, good to give it a bit of a sand as well um, but not too much um, because it'll float over the surface it won't really flatten things but it'll take off the furriness of the timber and you can sort of then recheck and um, go back and forwards between this process. Um, I'm using quite a coarse grit, which sure removes the um, timber. It's 40 grit, but you're just going to be careful on the glue lines. It'll um, ride over those a bit, and so you can get humps and hollows. So it's just a light sand with this, um, and of course every now and then the long board. But, um, I'm using blue chalk on the baton here. Well, it's 2024. Um, I'm doing the last of the fairing up. <clears throat> Before I fit the windows to the starboard side, I've already fitted them to the port side and it's gone quite well. But... This is preparation for um, putting a skin, this corner will get rounded of course, a single skin over the bottom and a, it'll end up with two layers because I'll put a single skin on the top sides which will overlap the skin on the bottom. Bit of a twist in the hull here so the flat plane doesn't work so well but the long board does. So before glassing I've got a little bit more filling and sanding off to do on the top sides 
Um, the bottom is pretty much done, even some preparation around the stem for the extra layers of glass that will go over the bottom, which I'll put on first. Um, still working that out. How I'm going to do it all, um, give you a bit of a walk around of the boat. I'm very happy with the um, windows and how they've turned out. I've rounded the corners, I mean, the, sorry, the shines um, to what I think I'd be happy with. It'll be certainly an okay radius for the um, double bias glass to go around. I've marked out where the um, keel is going to come through the hull. And uh, today I'll be routing that out and um, making steps in the routing. For different layers of glass. Sure. I've rounded the transom um, where the bottom will meet the transom um, just for glassing and then I'll probably square that off with filler again later on so the hull allows a clean exit of water flowing over the bottom of the boat in this area. Prep has been done for the six layers of 400 gram cloth that I may put on this afternoon. I've just finished cutting all the cloth and although my, although my sister's uh, heavy duty I might have to buy a bigger heavier pair for cutting 400 gram. Six layers of cloth cut and ready to go and one layer of peel ply. I'm finally back on the project again. I've done some um, projects around the property over the summer holidays here in New Zealand. And finally the temperature's down a little bit today, about 19 degrees. And I've got some really slow hardener um, so I can do some um, glassing on the bottom of the boat. There's going to be two layers of glass on the bottom. And they'll overlap, as you can see, by that much. I think it's 120 millimetres. Um, and I was a bit nervous about getting started on this project, but you can see it's um, going well. Um, it's taken me this morning right up through to late midday um, to get this far. Two layers on and some peel ply. And... Uh, this was a bit of extra time and messing around with the transom. Um, goes around corners really good, double bias. Um, there's just going to be a single layer on the top sides. Um, it'll end up with um, three layers around the corner. And my plan is to square off the transom corners anyway so the um, water gets a clean exit rather than trying to wrap around the corner but it certainly makes it easier for glassing but yeah that's my progress um, as you can see um, there won't be a lot of fairing to do day two of um, glassing the bottom as you can see in the middle here um, I've already got nine layers of glass there 
um, and three steps. So by the time I've got another two on the bottom, that'll equate to um, 11 layers around where the dagger board goes down through the boat. But um, yep, looking forward to turning the boat over, but a fair way to go yet. I think I've um, finished all the preparation for the um, other side, uh, the top side. That was quite a mission, that side. I started, I don't know, 4, 4.30, didn't finish till 8 o'clock at night on the other side, and it was hard out. But this side, I think I've done better preparation. It's going to go off a bit slower with the 3 to 1 instead of the 5 to 1. It's something to remember all the time if you're swapping between hardness. A mistake would be extremely painful. So yeah, good to go. And um, this time I'm doing the peel ply sooner. I think the trick is to not do too much at once, but do like a quarter of the top side and um, stop, put the peel ply on and um, do the boat in quarters if there's bigger areas. So the boat is completely um, glassed on the outside now. Quite a satisfying part of the job, removing the peel ply.